Oh, yay, I'm moving. <laughs> Back from the uh, deep abyss of a uh, black hole. Oh, what I miss. Did we ever get Elaine on here? <laughs> I can see you and you're moving. Hello from Arizona. My phone is spinning. Are we back? Are we back, back, back? Do we have Elaine? Anyway. I'm not back. I see you. Okay. Um, send me another link. I'm going to send you another link. We got to make this work because people could even watch it and I can go back maybe even and edit it and send share. Yay. I'm back. Okay. I give up Elaine. I don't know I, when I go off and I have a hard time coming back and finding it again. Um, Elaine, can you just type in some things you want to add to what I said or correct anything that I said? This is too big of a deal for us to mess up with a live broadcast here. Maybe she and I will have to record a video to tell you more about it. But one thing you can do, and it was in the link of the post, is go to nomadsdowntheroad.com and you can poke around there and explore all the things that they have to offer. And it's just starting. There's so much more to come uh, and the more people that join uh, it's one simple s location for you to go for lots and lots of information you can teach a class you can go to a class and um, make suggestions Elaine is very open to building this as a central location and I think it's revolutionary as a source resource for all of us whether you just camp or you're full-time or part-time, whether you're in a car or a Class A RV, I think this will be a good re resource for anybody that camps or travels, full-time or part-time. Did I get a freeze? We did get a freeze here in Florida. It was 20 degrees. 20 in Florida. Uh, it's pretty darn cold for Florida. Good thing it didn't rain. It would have been snow. Wouldn't have stayed down long, though. Hi, Susan. I sound clear. Oh, isn't that good? Yeah. It's it's always better recording in the car. The acoustics are just so much better in a car. Um, you know, it's well insulated. You don't get the outside noises and distractions and so forth. Um, did anybody happen to go to the website? I put it in the post. Did you take a look at it? Do you have any questions about the... Um, Nomads down the road. Elaine, do you have anything else to add? Well, I don't have dogs anymore, if you saw the post, and I can't talk about it, but I have, but Coco is right here beside me, and she's sleeping. The website is awesome. Yes, Linda, it really is, and it's only going to grow. I tell you, it's, it's really going to be a big thing, and the sooner we get behind it, all of us, the sooner it'll be fantastic. There are some websites with, that are good resources. You know, there's um, Cheap RV Living um, and, you know, Howa and, and all that with Bob Wells, but those really are one way. Those are them giving you information. It's not interactive like like Facebook is, but again, like I said before, Facebook is uh, a very broad, I mean, you name it, it's, it covers everything, so it's hard to find your way in there. That's one reason why I'm not in Corsite, because it's hard to find your way in there, too many people. And this is a single resource where you can find everything nomad. A uh, YouTube channel called One Adventure at a Time. It's Dave and Carrie who are nomads in a van. They're in Florida right now, too. No, I'll have to look that up. I'm always happy to see new YouTube channels and to help other YouTubers or learn from them and collaborate with them. Hi, Sylvia. Oh, Susan already signed up. Oh, are you talking about the meetup or Nomads Down the Road? Def definitely everybody ought to sign up at Nomads Down the Road. doesn't cost you anything, so there's no reason not to. Thanks for watching, Sylvia. Right. Um, 
Nathan is 19 years old on the 1st of January. Well, happy birthday to Nathan. My goodness. That's her little dog. Um, man, what kind of dog is Nathan? That's uh, 17 is old for a very old for a dog. 19 is, is going for the record, I think. <laughs> Yes, it is going to be a great set. I'm having a new member orientation. This is Travel Grandma. You can see her in the chat there. She said, I'm having a new member orientation on Monday at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. The link is under the events page on the website. It's easy to navigate through, Clara says. Yes. Hi, Clara. She's been, um, Travel Grandma has been spending a lot of time on this new website, and um, we really all need to give her a big hand. <laughs> Thank you to Elaine for this, because this is going to grow beyond Elaine. This will grow, you know, this will be the Facebook for nomads, and then some, um, because it's so specifically for camping, nomads, traveling, that sort of thing. Hi, red-headed riding hood, riding, writing hood. I've seen you so many times. I've watched some of your lives, too. She's got a nice channel. I like it. I think I'm subscribed. If I'm not, I'll go back and look. <laughs> if, um, one thing that Elaine told me is that this new Nomads Down the Road will be a place for you to promote products, promote your YouTube channel, or pretty much anything nomad related that you want to. The website is nomadsdowntheroad.com. Simple. A real French dog born and spent most of his life in France, but now in Wales, UK. Yeah, that dog is going a far... I don't I can't pronounce that but that's what kind of dog he is I assume is you're saying good for him yes yeah, snowball is the right kind of word for this website I really believe it's going to so snowball because it's such a different a different kind of resource for a specific crowd and there are so many of us it's just unbelievable this wonderful campsite that I'm at right now which of course I won't say where it is simply because you know us ladies on the road don't do that. Um, but it, when I first got there in November, there was almost nobody there. And now I, I don't think there's hardly a site left for anybody to get into. Going to be party night there tonight, I think. It's a web... Uh, yeah, Travel Grandma Elaine just said, it's a website we will all build together. Very true. When you build your village there and you share with other villages it's not like you're off to yourself you you share your village with everybody and and that's just going to be so much fun and you don't have to be on the road to join very very true you can be part-time full-time or just want to be on the road but the subject matter of the website is a um is nomads if you have a driveway to share with traveling nomads we want you to join even if in other words even if you're not on the road is what she's saying if you want to share a, a driveway elaine had a vision and chased it for the community yes she's been working on this for a very long time i i can imagine that this is this is a huge undertaking <laughs> Yes, I know we're not not everybody's on the road yet. But I I just I get so many people in the comments and so many people I meet on the road, you know, a lot of times at the meetups that it be it may be their very first time out camping um and they just can't wait to get started. It's it's a a real desire for a lot of people. I've got some more um I have some more van tours coming up. Right now, I think I met some of you may have seen that I am redoing my completely, I'm taking absolutely everything out of my minivan and I am going to completely change it around. So I hope it works. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. I talked to Elaine about it. She's the queen of um, minivan building. If you're not subscribed to Elaine's channel, you really need to go to Travel Grandma. Elaine, can you put up the link to your YouTube page so people can go there if they no, don't happen to be? 
Yes, Elaine was just now saying, list your events and start a local group. It can be a sewing club, a book club, a camping group in your area. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. Yes, at Treble Grandma. Yes, that's right. We can do that by our handles right now. And I think you could click on it. I'm not clicking on anything. I don't want to get booted off again. But I think if you click on what what Travel Grandma just put in the chat there, she just put uh, at Travel Grandma. I think you could hit hit that and go to hers. Um, but you can do that in a search too at Travel Grandma, and it will go to her YouTube channel where you can subscribe. She also has a Facebook page. Connecting like-minded people. I really like that idea because, like I said, uh, Facebook is such a broad subject. And um, cheap RV living is not is one way, not two way. Um, it's a good resource, too, but it's just different. Uh, Shay's Wades, turning in. Nomads down the road sounds wonderful and should be overwhelming with success. Sincerely, Shay. Bye, Shay. Thanks for joining us. Um, I have done both of those in my area, but I haven't added to the Nomad group. Oh, Crafty Traveler, yes. Yeah, she's, I'm sure you're on the, on the Nomads Down the Road. Anybody else been to the website? Elaine, do you have anything else to add? I really apologize to everybody that I messed up, but I'm not the only one. I saw some big channels mess up doing this too. I was trying to do a little research before we came on here and, and I saw everybody kind of goofing around just like we've been. Uh, let's see. We have several YouTubers starting villages of subscribers. That's a good way to find other YouTubers too and to collaborate with other YouTubers is to uh, make your own YouTube subscriber village there. Fueled by Wanderlust, me. I think you mean you've been there. Good. Uh, I have nomads down the road, side, but I haven't added my local sewing, and um, I lost it. One adventure at a time. Dave and Carrie will be at several meetups there while in Florida. In January, February, March, they'll be at the Florida Van Life Gathering and the Schoolie Swarm. I went to Schoolie Swarm last year. It was real. I hope they have it in the same place. It was really pretty. I'd love to go to that again. I should look it up. Thank you for reminding me about that. Um, no capital letters in your username. What do you mean by that? I just joined. No capital do you mean at the at travel grandma no capitals? I'm not sure. Um, will there be someone to speak live at the website? I'm a newbie wannabe. And sometimes we just need someone to talk through things. Not Facebook, not enough many times. I think that's what Elaine was saying that she's going to be when she announced a minute ago that she's having a uh, introduction. Um, that she's going to talk about some of those. Uh, Elaine, is that going to be a live that you're going to be doing uh, where people can ask questions of you, that new orientation for your website? Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Thank you. Um, Elaine will be at Courtside, WRTR and RTR. Yeah, the orientation. There is a getting started guide on the website. And uh, Elaine will be doing a live orientation on Monday night. Yes, live on Zoom. So go to the website and I'm sure it'll explain all that to you. Just signed up. Thank you, Sherry Lynn. New members orientation. You'll be in court site from 17 to 124, going to both meetings. Yeah, I, I don't know about, well, you know, it sure is pretty here, pretty and green, and all the plants are soft and not prickly here in Florida, and there's no wind, and it's been warmer, so just saying. 
come to Florida sometime. We'll have a huge, maybe we'll have a Florida quartzite. That'd be great. Elaine, you're saying 6 p.m. Pacific time and 9 Eastern time. Yes, it is a good time to be in Florida. Definitely a good time to be in Florida. Um, it was in the upper 70s today. No wind. No cactus. I don't have anything against deserts, but, you know, soft and fluffy trees are nice, too. I'll take Florida any day. Yes, Susan. Yes, and Susan will be at my next meetup. I have to say, since I'm here, and in your hair, if you don't mind me saying, I have a couple of um, review items that I'm going to be doing videos on coming up pretty soon. I'm kind of late getting them out there. Um, but I have to promise you that I won't be doing reviews of things that I don't personally think would be good for people. Not just not good for people, but useful not just some frivolous things i don't want a bunch of products sent to me um someone i'm sure it was a very good company wanted to send me some survival knives to do a a review it on and i that's not my channel i use knives i got one at every door i got you know i love you know that's a great thing it's just not something i want to promote my next one is just to give you an example is a, a water bottle you know, and I'll tell you all about that in that next video. But there's, a, there's some water bottles that um, I think made a difference in, in for me. And I'll tell you why. There are some shoes. Big difference for me. And a power station. I can't wait to show you that one. But I'm not going to take just anything. And I've turned down sponsorships because I don't want to do commercials. You know, I, I don't think that's why you come to my channel. Um, doing a review of something that I like and would be useful for you. Yeah, but I don't want to be, um, I've turned down sponsorships just so you know. Uh, 58 degree, degrees and raining in California. Will it, will it's California. Yeah, we're supposed to get rain tomorrow. Not the same clouds, I'm sure. That's a long way away from here. Off topic. Love the outfit. Army green and turquoise. Yeah. My colors. Wait, do you see my new van? Oh, well, not a new van, but a new setup. Boy, what an undertaking this is. My understanding is Bob Wells has talked about doing uh, an RTR on the East Coast, but can't find a place large enough. Oh, yeah. I don't want, I'm sorry, I don't, as much as I have wanted to go to that RTR for so long, I... You, you, if you watch my channel, you know I, I sometimes have trouble walking distances. And I just can't imagine how you make your way through those crowds. And that plus the wind that I went through in, when I went through there, that area. Yeah. It's comfy here in Florida. I have my own little meetups. 58 degrees in Willits. Oh, yeah. Off topic. Um, Army Green and Turquoise. Uh, my understanding is... I'm the same ones. I guess one has to have lots of subscribers before companies contact for sponsorships. You know, I don't really know. I've heard that some smaller channels do get offers like that, but I only recently put my email address on my about page, my butterfly tracks at AOL.com. So they wouldn't have had any way to contact me even if they wanted to before now. And we are at all right at like three or four more people, and we'll be at 14,500 subscribers. So, yay! Thanks, everybody. Uh, no, I'm not doing the EcoFlow power station, it's definitely not. It may be one you've never heard of before, and I haven't tested it yet. I'm getting it on Sunday, so I will let you know. South Carolina. Special plans for New Year's Eve? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Campground. Mm -mm. It's the campground so full, I'm pretty sure there are going to be parties everywhere sitting around a campfire. For sure. Um, Diane Alexander, I'm in Quartzsite. Let's connect. Yeah, you two, I guess, I, Patty and Diane, you're wanting to connect in Quartzsite exchange information or something i know this is kind of public and it may be on replay but i hope you get together 
83 earlier and the sun was out most of the day here on Treasure Coast. Currently 74. Hi Lisa. Lisa Ann. Hello good golly. New Jersey finally got 58 today. It was a welcome day with lots of sun. Hello Michigan. What's it like in Michigan right now? Boy, this light of mine is really bright right here, isn't it? Look how I've got a shadow behind me. It's starting to get dark here. <laughs> Thank goodness I have this light or we'd have to cut off right now. Um, yeah, wh which is that in Florida, Treasure Coast? Palm Coast, 76 Love It. On the website, you can mess message each other privately and securely until you choose to exchange contact information. That is good. I hope you all see that there on the um, Nomads Down the Road website. It's nice to know that you can have a private conversation where you can exchange your contact information securely. That's good. Comments on the chat have, have, don't have to be in. Right, I can turn off comments. I might do that too. It's just that um, I have to make, you know, I can't promise that I, you saw how I fumble around. I can't really promise you that I would really be able to do that. Um, but maybe next time. That's something I should learn to do. Elaine, have you ever done that? After you've done a live, turned off the comments so that they could be private? Because right now they're live. I don't know. 36 degrees in in lower in northwest lower Michigan. Vermont. Hello, Vermont. Plan to go to courtside, but the crowd scared me off. I don't do well in huge crowds. Well, I'm not intimidated by the crowds. It's just the distance you have to walk. And I don't know. I need, I need to get an old lady scooter or something. Um, between Sebastian and Jupiter. That's Florida. I'm pretty sure. Phoenix this winter. There are some beautiful, beautiful places in Arizona. No doubt about that. Um, just signed up for the website. Yay. Um, no, leave comments on. Okay, yeah. Uh, I've heard you can do that and seen it at other lives. Well, turning off the comments. Yeah, but then we wouldn't be talking here. Maybe after. I, I will give it an effort to check. I just can't. I can't promise that. I'm, I'm too goofy with this. <laughs> I, uh, I should, if I did these more often, maybe I'd get better at it. Um... Everybody hit the thumbs up for the live. 44 watching, only 27 hit the thumbs up. Yeah, sorry it's been so goofy. You know, I'm not the first to do, be goofy on live. Uh, that's why I don't do them very often. I really like impromptu. Just, you know, something neat's happening and just stick it up there live. I really like doing that. That last one I did at the uh, 100 Van Women's Meetup around the campfire where they were singing that. that to me, that was really special because the people that in the chat really got involved and were um, making requests for the people singing and they were singing along. It was really great. Now, RTR at the city park. You can drive there to park so a it's not much walking. Well, yeah, you can drive to that park, but then how many, how far away do you have to park? You know, with thousands of people there and lots of them driving, it still sounds like a lot of walking after you park there. Yeah, I'll make an effort to turn it off just because I'll need to know next time. Um, I'm with you on that. I don't like big crowds. I'm not crazy about big crowds. I so wanted to meet some of you. Gonna have to try to make it some smaller meetups. Yeah, that's kind of been my idea. I even tossed around the idea of having a meetup every month in a different state. I would have to have sort of an assistant in that state. So if there's anybody out there that wants to propose having it in your state, um, contact me at Butterfly Tracks at AOL.com sometime and we'll talk about having a meetup in your state. 
I would need an assistant to help find a place and so forth, and we would do it together. Um, game show live, and believe the chat picked me to win, so the YouTuber removed the chat. It was Manning, and I don't, and I don't remove the chat. They interact and add to the live. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, they do. Well, I mean, that the chat is the live, really. I mean, unless you're giving some kind of class or a lecture, to me, it's a way to communicate. It should be. Huge parking area at the park. It still would be walking, at, yeah, a quarter to a half a mile easily, you know, unless you, even if you got there really early, I'm pretty I'm sure that a lot of people would have the idea of getting there early. Um, 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 I have a local meetup in Southern California. Yes, I ref, uh, referred somebody to you just recently, Elaine. It was on my Facebook page. Hi, Narelle. Oh, that's bad if they didn't do the contest right. On the website, you can set up a group village to have local meetups. Yeah, I think that's going to be another big advantage of Nomads Down the Road is the meetups. Because I have people constantly asking about meetups. And a central location for everybody to put everything is good rather than having to sort through dozens. I must belong to... I don't know how many Facebook groups. I have no idea. It's um, a bunch of Facebook groups. And to have to sort through all of those, who's got that time? Um, so a central location will be ideal. Currently trying to find my own van. Plan is from Florida to New Hampshire to Ohio and Wisconsin to see some friends. Then Grand Canyon, Sedona. Oh, you're going to love Sedonia. Sedona, uh, planning for three or four months. I'm taking my best friend, your dog, Chelsea. It looks like it's a dog. Is that a dog icon here? <laughs> and absolutely anyone can start a village. That's on the website. That's good, Elaine. Thanks for reminding of that. You do not have to have a YouTube channel to start a village. It could be about, as she said, several subjects, but anybody could start their very own village. I'm on there now. I just put my photo on, too. Thanks, Red. I'm planning to be in Sedona next April. That is a beautiful place. I think I've said in a, one of my videos that I missed the Grand Canyon. I didn't get lost and not find it, but I think it was probably, maybe it was in March or April, and it was just too cold. I couldn't do it, so I went to um, um, fire... I can't remember the name of the park. It was a fabulous park. Red Rocks and so on. Leaving Minnesota January 7th and heading to RTR. Oh, I'm so glad you're going. Go for me. <laughs> Let me know how it was. First time in your minivan. If anybody wants to caravan from Minnesota. Be sure to let Vangela, I guess that is. Um, let her know. It may be here in the chat if you want to try to find each other, maybe on Facebook or in the future on Nomads Down the Road. Someone from the local area would know the best sites and seasons to hold a meetup. Yeah, that was my idea. And, and I will probably propose that on Nomads Down the Road. You know, I'll be in Georgia who wants to uh, coordinate a meetup or something like that. That's that's what I'd really like to do this year. I want to travel. I can't, I can't wait to travel again. Sorry to knock you off like that. I have kind of come for full circle. My very first video on my channel about 10 months ago, I said that I was kind of hanging out in Florida just waiting for winter to go away because I had no intention of being part of winter that I didn't have to. Driving in snow, so that's what I'm doing again, waiting for winter to go away till I can hit the road again. Valley of Fire, thank you. Fueled by Wanderlust. Yes, it was Valley of Fire in Nevada. Thank you. Senior Moments. Or maybe it's just the too many places. Do you know I traveled every day all the way up until July of last year when it, when I was at Travel Grandma's uh, meetup there in Colorado? Up until that time, I traveled every day from December of last year to July. Every day. After that, I slowed down. 
Um, it's Angela that made it Vangela for this man. <laughs> that's, that's so clever. Vangela, thank you for letting me know that. Um, sounds like a great plan. Lisa, at Lisa Ann. Yeah. Um, you just answered my question why you wouldn't be making it to RTR. Yeah, that's why I'm not making it. It's my walking thing. I got the walking sticks, which someday I'll be able to call my hiking poles when I deserve to call them that. But I've got these new shoes I can walk in. I'll tell you about that later. That's another video. Um, maybe, I, maybe that'll help me lose some weight, right? I can actually walk. Um, Mid-May until sometime in September is my plan. Elaine, tell us about the classes that you plan. Boy, this light is bright. Maybe if I move it farther away, it's getting dark outside. It's going to... Woo, it's still bright. If I turn it off, it's pretty dark. Oh, I don't want to drive in the winter, if that's what you're talking about. I'm not going to drive in snow in the winter, that's for sure. Did you just say warm in Florida, cold snap? We had a cold snap. We had a few days where it got down to the 20s at night. And I'm plugged into shore power, so I can put a, a good heater on in the, in the van. Um, I could do the car. The car will run. Um, but for safety reasons, it won't run all night. And uh, I'm, once I'm in shore power, I might as well just fire it up. You know, use a good old real electric heater. I've seen people use, I guess, what, Mr. Buddy is um propane or i'm not sure and i'm just not comfortable with that I'd rather have a, a electric heater with a little fan on it that that it automatically shuts off if it knocks over so i feel safer with that but it's nice and warm here i i don't think i even had the heater on last night just we were, coco and i were just all bundled up wasn't that cold can you say the website name again? Absolutely. It is nomadsdowntheroad.com. In Denver by one of my sons. So I'll have to maneuver through the snow to Arizona. Don't want to tow through, but rent a trailer down there. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'll travel down there and, and rent something there. I wonder how easy that is, though, if... if everything is spoken for do you stay at paid ground campgrounds when you stay in florida for extended periods or do you do the wma don't know, not sure what that is i probably should tell me what that is maybe i need to know yes i've been staying at campgrounds i can't tell you where i am but it's not too expensive you can do it by the month and that's quite a lot cheaper. Most places make you move every two weeks, but occasionally you can find something where you can stay for a little bit longer, and that's been real good for me. Um, I have also tried, um, what's the name of that? Um, Hip Camp. I found a good spot. It's in the right location. While they don't have electric hookup, which I wish they did just because of potentially cold weather, um, but they do have a generator that I can... Um, charge up my um, solar batteries on the generator. So I think that'll do. But during that period of time, that'll be a 20 day period of time. And during that time, I am going to do some traveling in Florida. So far I've been um, working on my van and doing family things and getting caught up on business things from having been gone for a year. And so I haven't been doing a lot of sightseeing in Florida, but I'm going to take you to some lovely places in some videos. Um, after the meetup. Middleburg, Florida. Hi, Lulu. So much fun driving in snow. Well, actually, I did drive in snow. I was in South Dakota for a while, many, 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 many years ago. And I remember that feeling. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope, I like my, I like my little van too much to put it through that. Nut, nut, nut. 
my first video was the first you saw, so I was waiting delivery of my van when you were waiting for delivery of your van conversion. Oh, that's great. So you've got it by now. Man. That's great. Nomadsdowntheroad.com. No Mr. Buddy in a minivan. No, I didn't think so. Never even crossed my mind to get one. Although I, I guess people in a bigger van have a little more room. In the minivan, there's not much area to put one in where it, you can keep it away from things to help prevent a fire. Okay, Sandra, do you have a mini a Mr. Buddy in a minivan? I don't know. WMA is Walmart. Okay, gotcha. No, I don't do Walmarts. I did Walmart twice in a year, only twice. And only and I only did that because um there were a lot of other vans, you know, vans and RVs around. I, I wouldn't have done it otherwise. And by the way, just so you know, it's a little different on this kind of a live than the others. And I'm looking here instead of looking directly at you because the um the the um comments are scrolling up right across my face all the way up so I'm not quite looking straight at you so forgive me but I do want to read your comments um a camping membership well harvest host kind of discriminates against us minivan people so no I don't have a harvest host but hip camp you can go to hip camp anybody can it's a website and you don't have to join you don't pay hip camp to join like you would with harvest host and I think maybe some others but um no hip camp you is more like Airbnb where you pay the person that you are renting the land and there's a wide variety I'm you know I don't not connected to them in any way. I just found out about them, really, or just tried it for the first time. Um, but it, you are actually renting land from someone, and there's such a wide variety. And everything from the campsite I've got is practically boondocking. It's on the Swanee River, but it's practically boondocking. And then um, all the way up to fairly fancy accommodations. So wide variety there, and you don't pay to join. Um, if you would like Jen to visit you, offer to host her in your driveway while she's traveling. Thank you, Elaine. All you need to do is sign up to be a host on the website and she will contact you. That's, that's great. That's great. And everybody can do that. Not just me. Everybody can offer a place for someone to stay, get to meet all oh, such wonderful people. I mean, you've seen, if you've seen my van tours, you know what great people are out here on the road. Wonderful people. Like Elaine Travel Grandma. Where can you find the link for the Zoom meeting? I would assume, Elaine, isn't that on? Uh, I would think that that's an on Nomads Down the Road. Not Walmart, okay. A box truck. Um, and trying to avoid driving in the snow, yeah. Southern California and Florida. When I was a teen, my family moved there and I raised my kids in, in Georgia. Yeah, Georgia can get some snow. Um, I'm in the more or less northern part of Florida and they've had snow fall before, but it doesn't stay anytime. Um, do most RV campgrounds allow minivans? RV campgrounds are very different. Most of them are private businesses, so they have their own rules. Um, if you go, if you see something that says an RV resort, don't even try to go there in a minivan. Probably not. I would say in general, probably not. Um, I'm in what's called a RV campground right now, and it has hookups. And mo I'm the only minivan there. There are other vans, but I'm the only mini minivan there. Um, but th there's no rule against that. I have. And I've heard so many people say that when they're in a minivan that um, some campgrounds won't let you stay there, that you have to have a tent. Um, I've never, ever, ever, ever seen that happen. But I know that it does because I don't think they're lying. I just never have happened to run into it myself where you have to sleep in a tent. That's so silly. Um, but you can always stick a tent out there and I don't think they're going to come in look peek in the tent and see if you're sleeping there <laughs> uh i'm in denver so i have to drive in snow very soon yeah 
Well, people do it. I mean, thousands and thousands of people do, but I don't have to, so I kind of don't want to. Uh, water management area. Yes, free camping. Um, yeah, you have to get a permit from the water management website. I did know about that. Thank you for reminding me, too. Um, in whatever district you want to stay, like Southwest Florida Water Management and so on. And there's, the, I don't know if the Forest Service has it or not. Um, but, you know, it's winter and I'm pretty much looking for electric hookup. And I've stayed at my brother's driveway a few times. I'm going to his house to um, do my van transformation on Sunday. And uh, all the new parts will be in. I can't wait to show you. It's such a transformation. Um, how many strangers are going to trust other strangers who are offering their driveways to stay in? Uh, you will have the opportunity to screen who you invite to your property and it's secure and private. You do not list your address, only your general location by city. Yeah. And um, I tried to stay at a resort type RV park in Salt Lake City in 2021 and I couldn't believe because my RV. Yeah, they usually, um, a lot of them, especially if they say resort, an RV campground will have a limit of a 10 year old um, vehicle. Um, they'll inspect it or you can send them a picture because it could look really nice. You know, a, a retro RV could still be really well kept and they might accept you. But some of them have some pretty strict rules. Yes, Elaine is saying that you have, you can, um, you do not list your address, only your general location. I did that one time when I was traveling um, this year. <clears throat> I was in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And I, I thought I would try one of those. I don't remember which, could have been Road Tripper or one of those others. A web, you know, a Facebook page where you could find someone, and we communicated back and forth, uh, text and or email. I think, pretty sure it was all text uh, before I went to stay at her location. She wanted to know about me, and I wanted to know about her. And uh, she even said we would have lunch first, which we didn't end up doing. But there are ways to get to know the person. That's what Travel Grandma is saying. Um, I just read on the website that the orientation Zoom is January 2nd at 6. 6 Pacific, 8, 9 Eastern. Does a person need to be a member of the Nomads Down the Road to join the Zoom meeting? That's a good question. You do not need to be a member to join the Zoom meeting. Well, I guess that makes sense because this would be an orientation to let you know more about the website and all the things that are available there. And it's good that you have other family there in Florida to visit. Yes, I, I do that once in a while. Um, they always want to invite me in and I'd rather sleep in my own bed. So that's nice of them, but I'll take their electricity if they want to offer. Um, Nomads Down the Road is free to join. That's very important. She does appreciate donations because she's put out, I'm sure she's put some money out and certainly a, a huge amount of effort that I can only imagine, but it is free to join at the moment. I don't know if that'll change. Will that change? Elaine, I don't remember you saying. Will it always be free with donations accepted? Um... Yes, pass the word about the Zoom meeting. Just signed up and logged in. That's great. I'm trying to get sponsors so we can keep it free. Yes. And the more people that join, the more we support this website, the more likely it will be free for all of us to use. Because the more use that it gets, the more likely she can get sponsors and advertising and whatnot. Um, so we all need to get behind it and support it because it's for us. Justin, give me your address. Not, I am referring to actually having them there and maybe feeling uneasy during the night while they are in your driveway. Well, I don't know. What do you say, Elaine? 
I guess it's kind of like when you're going places, you just get a feel for the person, you know. Um, I think since I've been on the road, I've gotten a pretty good idea of, you know, judging people. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Get a feeling for how good the person may or may not be. You can also write articles that helps for sponsors. Yes, if you want to write an article that would... Especially if you have a YouTube channel that would help promote that or a Facebook or an Instagram or something like that. I'm sure that would help promote you as well. I could trade electric for help. Uh, I don't need someone. Where'd it go? Come back here. I lost that. I'm referring to actually having them there and maybe feeling uneasy during the night while they are in your driveway. Yeah. Write articles. Yeah, I lost one. Well, ladies and gentlemen... We've been here on here almost an hour, so I'm going to give it a few more minutes because I feel like there's a lot more to learn. And I'm so sad that Elaine didn't get on here. We will figure this out eventually. And um, I know others are struggling with it since it's so new, too. But um, if you have any other questions, that's why you build relationships with people first, Julie. That's right. You get to know the person. You find out all you can about them. Maybe you look them up on Facebook. You can... Google them, or if obviously if they have a YouTube, that helps quite a lot, but I think the comment you're looking for was deleted. I can't find it either. Right. That's okay. No problem. Anybody typing questions? Okay, I'll try to be in for the Zoom. I think that's a very good idea. Your map link directs you to that member's profile. That's good. So that if you're staying with somebody, I think Elaine is saying, if you want to stay in somebody's driveway, they've put their uh, information on the map. If you click on that, then you the map link directs you to that member's profile where you can see more about them. I mean, I'm pretty sure that they would want to contact by either texting or phone before someone, both ways, both people would want to do that. Um, have more contact than just say, hey, what's your address? I'm going to park there tonight. I think it takes just a little bit more than that, but not a lot in most cases. Well, you can probably see it's kind of dark here. I, and if, if some of you missed it, I had to drive to the, or I thought it would be better for the live uh, to drive to the library to get really nice internet. So that hasn't been the problem. It's been my lack of technology. Um, wishing everyone a happy, healthy, safe, peaceful, peace-filled new year. Absolutely. Um, I did Airbnb in my home. That is why I stopped. I had some guests that made me uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think you should check it out some. Don't just find an address and just go park there. Uh, but I think they're providing, nomads down the road are providing ways for you to check the person out. Sometimes you can just tell that people like Jan are a good, safe person. Well, thank you, Connie. Yeah, um, I think you can't always judge a book by its cover, of course, but once you can talk to the person and, you know, have a, a little bit of an exchange with them, I think that that could help. Yes, Happy New Year, everybody. Boy, it's coming up. We're starting a whole new year. I It's just amazing. This year has been full of awe. Absolutely wonderful. And I hope yet next year is just a lot like that. You're a Harvest host and Boondockers Welcome member. And when I locate a place, I communicate with them a few times before going there. I think that's a good idea. I really do. Um, you know, if, if you could, like the one that I mentioned in Las Cruces, 
that I did stay at. Um, she wanted to have lunch, you know, first or something, and that didn't work out for either of us, but um, we communicated enough times that I felt like I knew her, and when I got there, she was just what she seemed to be from communicating with him. Talk to him, even on the phone and so on. Oh, yes. Hi, y'all. Janet, I'll see you next weekend. Boy, uh, wow, how time flies. Wow, how time flies. And I got to get off of here because I have to drive back to my campsite. It's not too terribly far from here. But I got to put up my window covers and all that kind of stuff and hook back up. And yeah, this, <laughs> this is such an overwhelming project. It's transforming my van. It's overwhelming and fun. Uh, happy New Year's. Yep. Uh, make sure you go back and hit the thumbs up button. Thank you. Happy birth. Happy birthday. Happy New Year's. Uh, everybody and Elaine, you too. Um, I'm glad we did this. I'm sorry it was crazy, but <laughs> you know, butterflies, they don't fly in a straight line. Thank you. Um, safe travels, everybody. Absolutely. You'll be safe out there on, on New Year's Eve. I'm going to be in a campground. I'll be fine for sure. Yes, it's dark out here. Many great guests, too, and they need a little bit for selling my house and relocating, getting my RV, but I'm in an apartment for now. Happy to live alone. Yes, freedom for some of us. That's true. <laughs> Thanks for the chat. Everyone stay safe. Okay, guys, got to sign off. I got to go back and um, redo things <laughs> here. So I got to get back to my campsite and um, get settled back in. Can't wait till Sunday when my van's redone. Thanks, everybody. Signing off now. Thanks, Elaine. Wish we could have done more, but maybe we'll do a video together about it. We'll we'll make sure everybody gets the information out. Let people know about nomadsdownthe road.com. Thanks, everybody. Good night.